Hello and welcome. Before we get into solving this logarithmic equation, let me explain a few things about its terms so that we don't get confused. Now here, note that log to base 2 of log to base 2 squared of x is not the same as log to base 2 multiplied by log to base 2 squared of x. In this case, log to base 2 squared of x is the object on which log to base 2 is acting. Just like when we have log to base 3 of 9. 9 is the object on which log to base 3 is acting. Now this is exactly the same as here, where log to base 2 of 2 root 2 times x is the object on which log to base half is acting. And of course, the sum of these two terms is equal to 1. Now let us get on to solving this logarithmic equation. Notice that here we have base 2 and here we have base half. So of course, the first thing we are going to do is to change this from half to 2 to match this term. And to do that, we are going to use our change of base formula. So we have that this equation can be written as log to base 2 of log to base 2 squared of x plus log to base 2, that is the new base of log to base 2 of 2 root 2 x divided by log to base 2 of the old base, that is half, and everything is still equal to 1. Now let us evaluate this. We have log to base 2 of half. But from our studies of indices, we know that half can be written as 2 to the power minus 1. And of course, applying the power rule of log readings, we can bring down this exponent, that is minus 1, to become a multiplier. So we can write this as minus 1 times log to base 2 of 2. But then also we will remember that log to base a of a is equal to 1. So this is simply equal to minus 1 times 1, which is equal to minus 1. So this denominator is simply equal to minus 1. And of course, you know that when we divide by minus 1, what is going to happen is that this positive sign will change to negative. So basically what we are going to have is something like this. So this is exactly equal to that. Now we have log to base 2 and we have log to base 2 and we have negative. Let us remember the law of logarithm that says that when we have log a minus log b, that this is equal to log a over b. So that means that we can write this equation as log to base 2 of log to base 2 squared of x over log to base 2 of 2 root 2x. And of course, this is still equal to 1. Now, remember that when we have a statement like this, what it simply means is that 2 raised to power 1, which is 2, is equal to this object. So basically, from here, we have that this fraction is equal to 2. And of course, the next thing we are going to do is to cross multiply. When we do that, we have that log to base 2 squared of x is equal to 2 times log to base 2 of 2 root 2 x. Now, let us look at this right-hand side. You know that we can apply the power law in reverse, right? 
we can take this multiplier that is 2 up to become an exponent so this right hand side is going to be equal to log to base 2 of 2 root 2 times x raised to power 2 let us evaluate this 2 to power 2 is 4 root 2 to power 2 is 2 and of course we have x squared so this is equal to 8 times x squared so we have that log to base 2 of x all squared you know that this is exactly what this means right is equal to log to base 2 of 8 multiplied by x squared but once more let us remember that when we have log a times b that this is equal to log a plus log b so this right hand side is simply equal to log to base 2 of 8 plus log to base 2 of x squared and let us evaluate this term we have log to base 2 of 8 but 8 is equal to 2 cubed so this is log to base 2 of 2 cubed and once more applying the power law this can be written as 3 times log to base 2 of 2 but then log to base 2 of 2 is equal to 1 so this is simply equal to 3 so we have that this whole term is simply equal to 3 and this equation becomes log to base 2 of x squared is equal to 3 plus log to base 2 of x squared now let us rearrange this we have log to base 2 of x squared minus log to base 2 of x squared minus 3 is equal to 0. Let us apply the power law to this term. So we have log to base 2 of x squared minus 2 times log to base 2 of x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now you can see log to base 2 of x and you can see log to base 2 of x. So let log to base 2 of x be equal to d. And with this substitution, this equation becomes d squared minus 2d minus 3 is equal to 0. Now we have a quadratic equation in d, which we can factorize. All we have to do is to find the factors of minus 3 that add up to minus 2. And of course, we have minus 3 and 1. Because minus 3 times 1 is going to give us minus 3. And minus 3 plus 1 is going to give us minus 2. So we have that d minus 3 multiplied by d plus 1 is equal to 0. And of course, from here, we have that d minus 3 is equal to 0. Or d plus 1 is equal to 0 d is equal to 3 or minus 1. So being that d is equal to log to base 2 of x, we have that log to base 2 of x is equal to 3 or log to base 2 of x is equal to minus 1. And of course, once more from here, we know that 2 to the power 3 is equal to x or 2 to the power minus 1 is equal to x. We have that 8 is equal to x or half is equal to x. Now that we have found x to be equal to 8 or half, let us check our answers. Substituting x equal to 8 into this equation, we have log to base 2 of log to base 2 of 8 squared plus log to base half of 
log to base 2 of 2 root 2 multiplied by 8. Now, we have already found that log to base 2 of 8 is equal to 3. And of course, 3 squared is equal to 9. So here we have log to base 2 of 9. Let us evaluate this. We have 2 to the power 1 multiplied by 2 to the power half. That is the square root of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power 3, which is equal to 8. Now, of course, you know that when we have three numbers like this multiplying with the same base, we can simply add the exponents. So this is equal to 2 to the power 1 plus 3, which is 4 and half. That is 4.5. So here we have log to base half of log to base 2 of 2 to the power 4. 0.5 but log to base 2 of 2 to the power 4.5 is equal to 4.5 because when we apply the power law to this we have log to base 2 of 2 to the power 4.5 applying the power law this exponent will come down to become a multiplier giving us 4.5 times log to base 2 of 2 and log to base 2 of 2 is 1 so here what we have is that this is going to be log to base half of 4.5. But remember that log to base half of 4.5 is the same as minus log to base 2 of 4.5. And of course, here we have log to base 2 of 9. And then applying our rules of log readings, this is equal to log to base 2 of 9 divided by 4.5 which of course is equal to log to base 2 9 divided by 4.5 is 2 log to base 2 of 2 and of course we know that log to base 2 of 2 is equal to 1 so this satisfies the equation now, when x is equal to half, this equation becomes log to base 2 of log to base 2 of half squared plus log to base half of log to base 2 of 2 root 2 multiplied by half. Here we have log to base 2 of log to base 2 half is 2 to the power minus 1 and we have squared plus log to base half of log to base 2 2 is going to take care of 2 leaving us with the square root of 2 which we can write as 2 to the power half of course log to base 2 of 2 to the power minus 1 is equal to minus 1. So here we have log to base 2 of minus 1 squared plus log to base 2 of 2 to the power half is equal to half. Minus 1 squared is 1. And log to base half of half is equal to 1. Of course, we know that log to base 2 of 1 is equal to 0. So this is equal to 0 plus 1, which is equal to 1. But I have a problem. Notice that here we have log to base 2 of minus 1 squared. Regardless of the fact that we had to square the minus 1, can we really accept x equal to half as a real solution to this logarithmic equation? I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comment section. And with that, we come to the end of today's exercise. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.